What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, one of my sister's foreign. Yep, that's right. So if you guys are wondering what we're doing at this godly hour. <laughs> what time is it, the Abu? So I typically head down to the shop around like around 10 or 11. Typically my time. Uh, but as of now, dude, I don't even know how to drive this car. It's like... Anyways, we are heading down. Um, so you guys know I got all I need to do is replace the ignition coil on the 128. So yeah, we are uh, we just need some ignition coils, but we can't wait at home because we are going to check out a new car. Yep, uh, I did. I wasn't gonna get it. I wasn't gonna get it. My brother he decided he wanted to get it. So show you guys what it is. Um, hopefully, if the price is right, it's pretty messed up. But if the price is right. Um, it's our brother's new daily. You guys are probably wondering what happened to my brother's daily. He sold it. Long story short, short, my brother got a good price for it, sold it. So now we're getting this new daily. Supposedly. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, head down the aisle. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do All it. Alright, let's do it. Let's go get the car. Alright guys, we are pulling up. Dude, That's looks it. so good, dude. It's so nice. Holy shit. Are they really gonna have the front end in the Oh, he's in, oh the damn. He's in the car. Yep. Alright guys, so this this is a 328, right? 328. Boy oh boy. <laughs> okay, so from this frame rail, it doesn't look too bad. This is just beyond screwed. Um doesn't at all? That shit like I even tried to pull it. Uh, headlight just disappeared. Oh, that, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> no it's way. Just, it's just flat. <laughs> oh man, at least we got all the modules. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. I mean, from the back, it looks pretty good. <laughs> man. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna park it on my house like this, front end, yeah, not yeah. even fix it. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I'm here with Balancing. So I'm checking out his 328, and uh, he kept on saying how you like sit inside of it, you enjoy it, you yeah, look at yeah, it. From it's the unfortunate back. that I crashed it, man. I was like in there prior to him coming. I was in there taking a nap before he came. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it looks so good from the rear. It's just like when we were pulling up, even my, me and my brother were like, "Oh man, this is mint." <laughs> and then, and then yeah, you guys saw the front end. We just gotta, we just gotta go a little bit more in depth into it, and I'll let you guys know our decision in the end. Uh, so I'm gonna just set you guys down. Give me a second. End of the day, we ended up picking it up. Um, so shout out to him. He does have other people coming out here. It's the first day he finally got the pink, right? Like this is your first day having yes, the sir, pink, right? First day. <laughs> first day. So I told him as soon as you get the pink, I think I've been on this for like two or three weeks, right? Like, yeah, yeah, about two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. So I was like, if you get this pink, I'll come down here. Thankfully, we came down to an agreement. I know, you guys know me. I know my lowball, the baloney out of people, but I couldn't disrespect them. <laughs> I couldn't. The car is a nice car, so I had to respect him for that point. We just dropped it a little bit down, um, mainly because there is um, some pillar damage and stuff like that. So that's life. It's all right. We'll deal with it, um, but new project, I guess. How you feeling? The uh, are you just going to close the door? All right, skill it. Enjoy, bro. Sweet. Enjoy. You don't. You don't need to fix it. Just sit outside of it. Guess from this side it looks perfect. <laughs> Guys, those are the wheels we wanted. Devon had those wheels, and we have them now. LCI tail lights. I don't want to go into it. Right I, I really want to get into it when we get to the shop. Um, as of now, I'm just gonna go sit in the car and just enjoy the moment with my brother. This is sick. So uh, me and my brother are super hyped. We got the car. How are you feeling now, dude? Guys, you, you, you're not gonna believe it. It is such, you guys, it's a beautiful spec. We'll go ahead, get the car towed to the shop, review um, pretty much the options it has. This one definitely deserves to be saved. It is a beautiful, beautiful optioned out 328i. It is a shame to let it go. So um, he said that the guy after us was about to pick it up from Pick and Pull Recycle because it has a lot of good parts. It has full LCI, the interior is full like sport. This would have been a really good part out for someone and this car would have never came back. So. Um, I'm making it sound like it's an emotional thing or whatever. People out here saving trees, people out here saving lives. I'm out here saving BMWs, I know. But um, <laughs> it means a lot, so let's go ahead, get this thing to the shop and start, you know, breaking it down. I wanna see what we got exactly. All right guys, time to go, meet him at the shop. Bro, the yacht, how are you feeling? Dude, no way. Do you guys understand that the yacht's first BMW was an E92 328i, 2007, okay? And this car was base, all right? 
now, yeah, truly has had, got an F30 before and all that stuff, but um, this is basically an E92 328. Like, when I mean full option, I'm gonna show you guys. Like, I literally cannot believe how to every function in the book. I cannot, I cannot believe it. The car is at the shop, check that out. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys things right off the bat. This is an M Sport 2011 328i. Normally, I would I would stay away from the N52s. You guys already know I already have, I purchased enough of these, I'm already over them. But the reason why this one tra attracted my eyes is because it's a clean title, clean title and the price. So this side looks pretty good, right? And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's the other side. So, um, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, this looks pretty good right there, which is the actual frame rail, which is what I was looking at. It looks like he hit a car that was higher, a lot higher than like a truck or something. He did see he, he hit a Highlander. So yeah, this pretty much just means that the pillar is damaged. Um, from the gap distance and everything, it actually looks really good. So it looks like all I need to do is pretty much cut that piece, cut a, uh, cut some metal there, and just get some rewelded. So I think that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna be working with John to get this stuff fixed up for you guys. But yeah, how much was it, Theo? 3100 guys. 3100 3, Out the door, too. This isn't like Copar fees, nothing. No. You guys will not find, especially this is a clean title. Look at these headlights. Look, yeah, I know. Are you serious? Like what? Uh, these are gorgeous. Full M Sport, guys. So it has the front M Sport bumper, has the M Sport wheels. These are the same ones Devon has that I've been killing to get. So my brother finally has them, which are gorgeous. M side skirt extensions. Uh, I mean, no, side skirts. It has the black trim. You know, you have to respect the things that it has. Like not every BMW has that, and I'm just so thankful it has the black trim. Um, LCI rear LED tail lights. It has the M Sport rear bumper. What I love about this as well, this car has the front and rear sensors. I can't believe it actually has the front. That is absolutely crazy. And this is L this is also the LCI. It has the LCI mirrors. Coming to the inside. Oh wait, before I go into the inside, it has keyless entry as well. So it has keyless entry, which is really nice. Going to open up the door, M package. And guys, what is going on here? It has honey cone trim i don't know if you guys have ever seen this trim i've never seen it on a 328 only a 335 is it would actually have a badge right here so the fact that i this is in a 320 is absolutely stunning it has nav like i can't believe that it has the cic nav which is crazy so this is a pretty well optioned out car another thing right off the bat it has this bun you would think what is this thing for oh well just take a look at that real quick oh well <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fail. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to take apart that motor and figure that out. That just means more things to fix to show you guys how to do it. So that's all good. Just to point out a little flaw here, cup holders. My brother actually knows how to rebuild these guys. So we'll actually show you guys how he does that, which is really cool. Um, basically, he knows how to take it apart. He'll make it at least functioning. It won't open up like as slow as this one, but it will at least open up and close perfectly fine. So we'll show you guys that. Another thing, since this is the M package, it has the M steering wheel, which is the same one I purchased a long time ago for my first ever BMW. I love this steering wheel so much. It's actually in spectacular condition, um, other than the trim. The trim is probably gonna have to get replaced. It has DCT paddles, and of course this is sport. It has a sport airbag, so there's really little to upgrade on this car. And since this is also the M package, it has the black roof. Like this stuff you don't really think about, but it comes in these cars, and this is one of my favorite things. Like this type of headliner would be like, stuff i'll actually look to upgrade but yeah guys this is an absolutely insane build my brother ended up selling his car right so i don't know if i showed you guys i'll throw a picture right here ended up selling his 328 325 right? 325 um so basically my brother was after we finished rebuilding and everything um my brother wasn't too fond with how the car came out 100 percent and it's understandable we really messed up a lot on it we did save it we did make it in presentable condition to get it sold it's not a car that you know it's kind of like your end goal car for every car enthusiast you want a daily a car that you actually really enjoy and he wasn't really enjoying that it's understandable but this car right here it's not a twin turbo it's still a great daily and it looks absolutely stunning it has all the features anything you could ever wish for it has it which is absolutely insane. But anyways, I don't wanna drag this any longer than it is. Let's go ahead and get the car inside the garage and go back to my house. We're actually gonna go back to the house to get some ignition coils. It finally got delivered so we can get this 128 back to our house so we can make room in the garage. So I wanna get that 128 back to the garage and I wanna get this side, this car inside the garage and we wanna go get something to eat. You guys can just hear that. 
Oh! And that was rubbing, right? No, no. It's uh, down here. Well, it's the whole thing. Well, basically, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Those of you guys who are worried, like, what, what am I doing? These are all connected to the headlight. These are all within the headlight, so nothing to worry about here, ladies and gentlemen. a couple hours later we are back at the shop so basically um, we had to come back over here this is like actually went home and came back here twice today unfortunately it's about a 45 minute drive each way but we want we needed to get this ignition coil finally came to the house this morning go ahead and replace it cylinder one hope to god everything's good with it we're gonna go ahead and take it for a test drive hopefully everything is good and then that will wrap so without further ado let me set you guys up let's, let's get this over with Alright guys, so the ignition coil has just been replaced. We're gonna go ahead and jump the car. We have to trickle charge it on. I think I accidentally messed up the coating. I think I put it to where the halo stay on for like a minute after I turn off the car. And I think that's been kind of draining the batteries. I'm gonna go ahead, turn off that feature, jump the car, take it out for a test drive, and hope to God everything is good to go. This car is jumped. No longer need this little guy here. So let's go ahead and just take it out for a test drive, make sure everything is good to go. Let's hope we can finally drive this thing home. I'm really trying, I'm really trying to take it home. All right, guys, I'm happy to say no check engine light. We made it back. Um, the, the, the ignition coil was a tight fit. I don't know why. I ordered it and it said Boss, but I, is it Bosch? I think it's Bosch. Bosch. I keep saying Bosch. It's Bosch. Anyways, um, correct me, I'm sorry. But anyways, car's good to go. This video is already long as it is. I want to go ahead and start working on my brother's 328. We're super hyped. We're going to start taking apart the whole front end and see the extent of the damage. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. The next video, we'll start breaking the car down. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links down below, the hashtag Save a BMW links. They're going to be down below. First link, purchase a decal, support the channel. And if you guys tag me on Instagram with you guys' purchase, I'll make sure to repost it. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you all so much for the support. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh. See, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words, and I put them all together in search, cause I wanna have words.